Thanks so much. Time right now, 649. As you know, we are your local election headquarters. And joining me this morning to talk about his race for Congress is Representative Bruce Westerman looking to uh, take over for Tom Cotton in the 4th District. Good to see you this morning. Good to be here, Matt. What, Thanks for having me First off, is your reaction to what uh, Chris Piazza did in Pulaski County that now appears to be affecting all of the state of Arkansas? Yeah, there's been a lot of big news lately, and uh, you know, our campaign put out a release opposing that shortly after the uh, announcement came out Friday. Uh, personally, with the campaign, we're also dealing with uh, some personal attacks on my record. Well, I, 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 yeah. I, I want to get to that in a bit, but right now, as far as this decision goes, this is there's no federal law that says that same-sex couples, the marriage of same-sex couples would be legal, but apparently this is going to be appealed to the federal level. Right now, it's a state's rights issue. Should it stay? Right, and it, w it should stay, stay a state rights issue, and this was a, it was not a federal judge that made this ruling on the law. The people of Arkansas overwhelmingly by 75 percent passed the marriage amendment in Arkansas. Um, and it's wrong for a judge to come in and, uh, you know, strike that down based on federal law when he's a, a state judge. And if I go to Congress, I'll fight to keep that a state right so that we can determine what marriage should be here in Arkansas. Yeah. Now, let's also talk about what's going to happen when, you know, when it, or if you get to Washington and where you're going to fight because... Uh, you have been an opponent of uh, the Affordable Care Act, otherwise known as Obamacare. Apparently, uh, you're under some attack. Your opponent, Tommy Mall, says that you actually supported Obamacare while you were in the House. Is that true? It's true that he said that. Did I support it when I was at, in the House? Absolutely not. Uh, there have been uh, a lot of attacks on uh, TV commercials on your station, actually, where uh, Tommy has said that I was he was the only one opposed to Obamacare. But that's been... Uh, basically said it was a big lie, not just by me, but by others. Uh, I think on uh, in the Arkansas Democrat Gazette this weekend, Michael Lamoureux, the Senate pro tem, you know, the guy next in line to be governor. They, they've all come out and said that, that it was you know, false. They, they, that adds Greg Letting, the, the minority leader, he said it's false. Are we already too far down the road, though, to repeal Obamacare? No, we've, we've repealed constitutional amendments in this country before, so uh, we can repeal a law that was passed in Congress, and that's what we need to do because it's a bad law for our country. But, uh, you know, as hard as I've worked to fight against Obamacare to have uh, me labeled as somebody that's supporting it, that's just, just wrong. Even on, on the show yesterday on Capitol View, I believe uh, uh, the head of the Clinton School, Skip Rutherford, mm -hmm. said it was a, a stretch to try to tag that with me. And then Rex Nelson maybe even offered us a reason why Tommy is saying that, saying he had, uh, you know, he's been on the yeah. East Coast. And uh, well, y'all's poll showed he was down in the in the race. We don't so have a maybe, lot of time. Yeah. Let me ask you one more issue before we get out of here, because another hot topic in Washington right now is amnesty. What's your position on amnesty, and how do we uh, how do we work with? Uh, the, I mean, it's a hot button issue with Hispanic voters. Yeah, it's uh, it's an issue that we have to address. But first thing we have to do is enforce current laws. Uh, we have to secure the border. Forty percent of the illegals that are here are here because they overstayed a visa. We have to enforce the current laws first, and then we can work on some kind of step-by-step -step immigration reform that doesn't include amnesty, that doesn't allow somebody that's uh, been... A couple a of those reforms, real quick, would be if, you know, if you're here for a few a short period of time and they send you back to Mexico or wherever, you have to wait three years or ten years before you get back in, or you want to amend that? Yeah, there, there are a lot of ideas out there on how to reform it, but that takes the focus off the issue that we're not enforcing current laws. Mm -hmm. The first thing we have to do is secure the border and enforce... The, the existing laws we have gain operational control of the border. All right, Bruce Westman, thank you so thank much. Thank you, Matt. Anytime. Hot Springs native, Fountain Lake High School guy. Right. See this morning. All right, 6.52 is our time. We'll be right back after.